Today we're going to take a look at the Titan replacement solenoid valve for Titan brake actuators with reverse lockouts. Part number is T4748800. Now between our actuator and the line that provides fluid to our calipers, we're doing an electric lockout. So basically this is going to be connected to ground on one side, we'll show you how to do that, and to your reverse wire coming from your seven pole or five pole, six pole, whatever you've got on the other side, it's gonna act as a solenoid. So, as your vehicle's backing up, it's gonna cut off that pressure or that brake fluid from locking up the brakes. Basically, this is important when you're backing up a hill and you want to be able to have your trailer wheels turn freely. This prevents that pressure from being sent back. Otherwise, when you started to back up a hill, as the actuator gets compressed, it's gonna apply the brakes. It's gonna make it difficult to back up. Now the solenoid is designed to replace the thread adapter that we have here on the back of the actuator. So we're gonna use a half inch wrench and we're gonna get that removed. Basically the actuator is designed to work with or without an electric lockout. So by taking this out, we'll be able to thread this in. That way it'll be set up for that lockout procedure when we hit reverse. Now we want to get that secured to our actuator. I'm going to use that big nut there. It's a 15 16 inch wrench. Now we'll take the flexible brake line hose. You'll have a shorter one from your kit. Remember, we've kind of lengthened ours a little bit just to make up for the length of the tongue. We're going to get that secured down. Now, as you start it, also hold this one with a wrench. That way we don't have to worry about this turning on us. For this, you want to use a 9 16 and then for this, we're going to stay with a 3 8 Now for the wiring side, I'm going to extend one of the wires slightly. It really doesn't matter which one. I'm going to use a piece of 16 gauge wire. This is going to allow us to get it to the reverse signal on the plug coming from our truck. To connect the two together, I'm going to use a heat shrink butt connector. Part number is DW05744. And if you don't have wire, that part number is 16-1-1. that crimp down. Now we're going to use a heat source to get this shrank. You can use a heat gun, you can use a mini torch or just a lighter. The key is not to overheat it. Just want to give it some gentle heat. You'll see it start to shrink down just like that. Now once it's fully shrank, you notice the wire looks like it's much bigger and then there's just a little clear gel that comes out of the end. Now the other wire will act as our ground. So we're going to strip that back. I always like to twist the wires, give it something good to hold on to. Then we're going to place on a ring terminal. I'm going to crimp that down. And we just have to attach this to the tongue. So when we hit reverse, the signal comes through here. The solenoid is going to close, not allowing the fluid to pass by. And then, because we've got it grounded out, it's going to work for us. I'm going to place that right here so it still will be accessible, but as we slide this back, most of that wiring will go inside there. I'm going to use a number 12 self-tapping screw to make that connection. Just like that. Got our connections made, now let's just slide the actuator back and get our bolts put in. With those through, we're going to place a couple of nylon lock nuts on the other side. Seems like the four inch bolts really work out well. They're going to give us just enough bolt length there to get those nylon threads engaged, get everything nice and secure. Now, with half inch bolts, you'll use a three quarter inch or a 19 millimeter wrench and socket. They're the same size. Now we'll get our bolts torqued down. And that's gonna complete our look at the replacement solenoid valve for the Titan brake actuators with the reverse lockouts. Part number T4748800.